Magnetic Poles Is the strength of a magnetic field uniform or non-uniform? Is the property of attracting iron resin the same across the magnet? What are the strongest and weakest parts of a magnet? Let's find out. Let us take a magnet and spread some iron resin all over the magnet. Now, let us try to remove all the iron resin by flicking the magnet. What do you observe? Has all the iron resin on the magnet been removed? No. We observe that only the iron resin from the middle part of the magnet has been removed. From which part of the magnet did we have trouble removing the iron resin? To which part of the magnet is the iron resin most attached? That's right. It is undoubtedly from the ends of the bar magnet. So, rather than in the middle part of the magnet, we face trouble in removing the iron resin from the two ends of the bar magnet. So, what is the conclusion from this activity? We can conclude that the strength of the magnetic attraction is more at the two ends of the bar magnet. Whereas, the strength of the magnetic attraction is very less at the middle part of the magnet. Let's prove it experimentally. To do this, we need a horseshoe magnet and a bar magnet, iron resin, a plastic cup and a safety pin. Take the plastic cup and make holes in its bottom. Place the bar magnet on the piece of white paper. Now, take the plastic cup and pour the iron resin inside the cup. Now, carefully sprinkle the iron resin around this bar magnet. What do you observe? Did you notice how the iron resin spread around the magnet? Where do you see the maximum iron filings? To which parts of the magnet is the iron resin most attached? Is the property of attracting iron resin the same across the magnet? No. Most of the iron resin is attracted to the two ends of the bar magnet. So, the part of the magnet that attracts the most iron is called the magnetic pole. So, we can conclude that the ends of a bar magnet attract more iron resin than the middle part of the magnet. The middle part of the magnet is the weakest one and the two ends of the magnet are the two poles which are the strongest parts of the magnet. So, the magnetic poles are the opposite ends of a magnet where the magnetic force of attraction is strongest. Now, we repeat the experiment with the horseshoe magnet. Try to see where there are maximum iron filings. What do you observe? If we closely observe, there are maximum iron filings which are attracted to the two ends of the horseshoe magnet. And very few iron filings are attracted to the middle part of the horseshoe magnet.